Da na 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 na. How to mod paper Minecraft? Oh, I forgot. So, first is the ID. <clears throat> first, you go to block data. It's a list. See, if you go to block data here, list. There's a list that says block data. Open it up. I have an extension that allows me to do this. So inside you see lots of numbers. <clears throat> so first you have the ID. And the ID is just this. 691 or it's basically the last block's ID plus one so this is 691 this is 692 so basically every single block has an id and so if this is 690 then the next block's id would be 691 because it's 690 plus one now there's the name the name can be nether sprouts but it's not it's gonna be barrier Block collision. There are three Y, P, N. Y stands for yes, it is a solid block. P stands for a platform like a log. N stands for you cannot stand on it whatsoever. So for barrier block, it will be a solid block. The hardness, since it's a barrier, it will be 9999999 but if it was a block like dirt it couldn't be one so it takes one second to mine for this it takes uh let me see it takes 99,999,999 seconds to mine that's like a few weeks but the mining tool can be anything it can be nothing so there's nothing for n for none p for pickaxe and then there's ho for ho a for axe and then s for sword no s for shovel w for um sword for us it's no this is liquid height nothing don't write anything here, just write zero. This is N2. It doesn't fall. Like sand can fall, but for this, no. Next, this just put zero. Then there's the tile group. Tile group is, for example, is it a tool, a block, an item? So num negative one means item. 5 means block and there's a lot of other possibilities for example 31 equals stairs but for now it will be 5 here you can investigate further this is what the blocks smell into what the blocks can be craft what the blocks can drop and stuff for now, it will be zero, 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 just to make sure that because <clears throat> it's a barrier block. So then creative menu one stands for blocks, two stands for decoration. So one, we will be in redstone, so it'll be three. And so costume inventory, it will just be this one plus one. So it's 910. And then this one is the game. So it's 911. Oh, wait, hold on. No, here, it's 916, 917. And crafting ID is this one, but you can change it however you want. Just make it this. And then 916, 917, go to the tile sprite. Go to the costumes. And the costume is 916 and 917. So we shall create 916 
So now that we have the costume number 916, 916 stands for 916 is the inventory block what the block looks like in the inventory it's a barrier block but in real life it's just nothing so if we save the game and if we test it out we have to make sure there are no bugs so we create a new world and then you have to wait up to seven seconds for the world to generate and now if we go to three for redstone you see that there is a barrier block but it's the opposite now you can see the barrier block is the cost so we have to go out reverse things and so now if we place the block you see nothing but in the inventory you can see it has a barrier block now we have this you can add all that you want all the blocks that you want but there's a lot more so now I teach you how to add food. You can make food by going to food data and food data you can just type in the block ID from the list block data which one is a food negative one for the tile group is food and then here is the um <clears throat> here the second one is the name and then there's hunger points that restore the saturation is how long it lasts five is poisoning and six is what you have after consuming zero equals nothing seven means it can be just put y for this one or you could put n and it's optional but um block id here and all the other stuff okay now here's how to add mobs so if you go to mob data you can see that there's the mob id and everything and so if you scroll all the way down you can just copy and paste it so here we have a pillager you could just copy it and then you could just paste it but you have to change some stuff for example this the mob id you must like the block id change it by one every time you add a mob and then for the name it's just the name it doesn't really matter what you put and then 95 stands for um if you go up number three 95 is its size percent it can be 100 most of the time but it can be anything depending on its size and then number four is half height it just determines half of the mob height usually it's 0 0.5 but for the taller mobs it's like 0 0.9 and for the smaller mobs it's 0 0.3 and it just concludes how the mob should walk then they're put the zero here then there's 305 it's just a root costume it's the first costume of the walk cycle and there's the walk cycle length and a bunch of other things that you can see are up here you can set some settings for it you could read this and then type in random stuff test it out and for the mob um walk cycles first of all you will need to you already have the mobs walk cycle length on the list so you don't need to worry about that so the walk cycle first it starts with looking at the screen then it's standing and then there's the walk cycle one two three four five walk cycle length is five and then staring at screen is one 
so five plus one is six and then you have five as the length of the walk cycle so you have to duplicate the walk cycle but it's red five times so that's how you add the mob and then for the spawn egg for the mob you just type in all the same stuff but make it a item and then let me see oh wrong list so you can see the spawn eggs how they work they're really easy to make you can copy and paste it and so basically there is um, okay so here you see it's basically all the settings for a block that can't be placed like an item and then except here is the mob id and you gotta copy all these and have the block id the name and then this crafting id and then here is the 903 it's the costume and so this is what is changed usually you put a g here as in spawn egg but for now i just kept it as n it doesn't have any effect next how to add structures you can do the same thing for the spawn egg except just do it for example you have negative 20 here for the next one you just do negative 21 increase it by one so very first of all you have to build your world but that will be in the next video